Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but we're finally back at the island and working on some more projects. This one is uh, really exciting and a really big one. Uh, I'm going to be restoring one of the cabins that's on this lake and getting it back into working function because it is also a workshop for carpentry and other things. It's kind of been run down for the past couple years and it's really been filling up with garbage and you can hardly walk in there. So. Before I show you the interior and show you what I've been working on, let me tell you a bit about the cabin. So this here is the main room, and it's a, it's a nice cozy size. It's perfect for one person. It actually has a bunk bed and a full down bed, so it can fit three. But uh, since it's just me right now in here, it's actually more than enough room, tons of room. Um, it's kind of a mess right now because I, I'm still cleaning it. This place was um, in pretty bad shape when I first got here. But uh, yeah, I'll kind of show you around this room and then I'll take you out into the main room of the cabin, the workshop, and show you how it looks now. I have some photos of how it looked a few weeks ago when I first started working on it. And then uh, I'll kind of mention some of the projects that you can expect me to be working on in there. Uh, in the upcoming weeks. Alright, so this here behind me is the kitchen area. Um, there's no actual fridge or stove or anything like that in here, but it does have a whole bunch of nice storage for cups and stuff like that, and then also a sink. But unfortunately right now the water isn't running. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the piping inside this cabin actually works. I just haven't got a water pump set up, so I'll have to get a water pump in the water to actually see what needs to be done as far as the water system goes. But other than that, this whole area is pretty much good to go. On the opposite side, there is this dining table with uh, just a whole bunch of stuff there right now. I actually have two VHS TVs that are broken that I'm currently trying to get running. And then just uh, a whole bunch of wooden chairs and stuff that I might move onto the deck later today. Like I mentioned, there is a third bed in here, which is a pull-down bed. This actually lifts up against the wall. But uh, I have it set down right now for extra space. But this is also where Lando sleeps when he's in here. He just has his little bed there with a nice blanket. But then also I set a uh, kind of like a box shelf where I can set my VHS player and other DVD players uh, for the TV. Right now that's not quite as, you know, like set up the way I'd like it. I'd like to get some of those wires out of the way, but uh, it's very temporary. I just mounted that up there so I can start watching movies and stuff at night. Uh, this is the bunk bed. This is where I've been sleeping. Uh, I sleep on the bottom bunk. It's been very comfortable uh, and nice. It's a bunk bed. And the top bunk is out of use. It's just being used for storage for uh, tons of boxes, which are actually just VHS movies. All of them. So I'll never run out of things to watch. One of the other things is uh, it does have a nice stove inside the cabin to keep this room warm during the winter time. And the stove itself is actually in pretty good condition and it will definitely be uh, salvageable but uh, the chimney pipe is completely rotted out and missing a few sections so that's definitely something I'll have to buy and install later on um, but other than that the stove's awesome it's in a great position already so not too much work to be done there as you can see there are four big windows in the cabin that let in lots of light so I temporarily have these bed sheets uh, covering each of the windows just to kind of cut down on how much sunlight comes in, especially in the morning. But uh, I did end up buying some curtains for at least three of the windows, so I'll probably be installing those later today. So yeah, that's kind of a brief um, look at this room. And I'm not going to be doing too, too much of this. I'm just going to give you a very basic look over of the cabin because you're going to be seeing it a lot while I'm working on it and there's just... There's too many projects to mention in one video, there's too many things to see, so this is going to be a basic cover to explain to you what I'm going to be doing and some of my plans for the next year, so you guys have a rough idea of what to expect on this channel. So yeah, let's go take a look at the main room slash workshop of the cabin. Alright, so this here is the main room, this is the uh, workshop on the island. Um, I'm not going to show too much of this because it would take too long and there's so many projects in here, but... I do have some old photos of when I first started working in here of how it looked and then how it looks now. Even though it looks like a mess right now, it uh, is about a thousand times better than it was before and it's still a work of progress. I've just been 
sweeping up and cleaning all the sawdust and wood chips and stuff that have been left um, over the years and then reorganizing some of these drawers. That was five different types of nails all jumbled in a big pile and I had to go in and sort them all out and then reorganize them. But uh, while I'm working in here and cleaning this up, I have to be very careful because there are a lot of really neat antiques in here um, that I don't want to disturb too much. So I'm handling those with care and setting them somewhere that they can actually be visible because a lot of them have been buried in sawdust and stuff or just behind garbage for a very long time. So kind of bringing those out and uh, back to life is pretty neat. So, so far I've kind of set all the antiques, which is mostly uh, old cigar boxes and stuff from like Paris that are now being used to hold different kind of bolts. They're all labeled. And then also like old, you know, like uh, coffee tins from England and um, Canadian made motor oil for snowmobiles from the 50s, stuff like that. So it's pretty neat. But um, yeah, that's kind of what's been going on in here so far and uh, probably be in here for most of the day for the next couple weeks as I clean out and uh, reorganize this whole place. So again, I'm not going to say too much about uh, the outside here because it's pretty clear how much needs to be done. But uh, one of the main projects I've been working on for the past couple weeks is clearing a wood pile that was here. Most of it's gone. Uh, I should be able to get the rest of it burnt or moved within the next two days, which will be nice. But uh, this whole area was just a massive wood pile that was just infested with mosquitoes. So I've slowly been plugging away at that, splitting and burning and cutting the wood. But then also one of the things is I trimmed up this old tree, um, cut some of the branches up that were dead because they were kind of suffocating each other and all growing on one side because this side got sunlight, that side didn't. But in doing that, I cleared up this entire area that was completely inaccessible beforehand. And it's uh, just amazing to see how much this spot has really opened up. And it does make the entire front yard of the cabin uh, feel a lot more open and clean. All right, so now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get back to work. Um, the first project for today, this morning, is going to be removing that metal roofing that's kind of been sitting on the dock for a long time and cleaning out this area. And then I'm probably going to take those two wooden chairs that were inside the um, sleeping room and put them out here with like a little fireplace on the deck uh, so you can kind of enjoy the night outside on the deck and then uh, cleaning off some of the other garbage that's just kind of been sitting around here this whole time. All right, so that's done. Uh, those were really, really heavy, but it's gonna be nice to have them out here just for a place to sit and uh, plan on setting a little campfire, like metal campfire thing out here as well. So you can just have a nice fire and sit out and look at the lake. But these chairs are a little bit rough right now. They're just roughly hewn into uh, an old log. So I'd like to get some of my wood carving tools and the sander and kind of sand them down and make them a little more comfortable. But uh, that's gonna be for a later time. 
for now, I think uh, I'm gonna light the burn barrel again, get some more of that uh, wood pile burning, and then uh, put in the curtain. Well, that certainly is a nice thing to have uh, rather than those old bed sheets. Uh, one, because they look a lot cleaner and it actually seems to have opened up the room a lot. Makes it feel uh, a little more spacious. And uh, also, then now I actually have the option to have the windows open because with those, they're you know permanently mounted there. To take them on and off would be too much of a hassle, but with these, I can just open them whenever I want, get some actual natural light in here, which is amazing.
All right, so that's good enough for now. Um, later on, I'll trim the wood backboard a little bit, and then maybe if I get some paint that's not black, I'll uh, spray some sort of target design to help with accuracy. But uh, for now, that's good enough. Uh, the sun's setting and getting pretty hungry, so probably call it a day on work and uh, start up again tomorrow. But uh, that was a pretty good day, got a few of the jobs done, but in uh, future videos I probably won't be talking as much. I just wanted to explain kind of what I was doing so you have a good idea of what to expect, but um, in the future it will be less talking and more working, more getting these jobs done, so eventually I can just relax up here and uh, you know, kind of hone my skill on some of the things I wanted, I've been wanting to learn more of, like carpentry and blacksmithing and wood carving and stuff like that, and fishing as well. <laughs>